Hey guys, it's Shelly here with UpcateLaugh.boxpod.com. Um, I'm just here tonight to do some, um, couple things I wanted to share with you guys. The first couple things, these two things here, I actually made. Um, one of my girlfriends, Kelly, had a glass fusion party at her house. Um, her boyfriend's sister does glass work, and so she kind of, as a side business, does, you know, in-home glass fusion parties where... You know, we got together and we all picked out the pieces, the glass pieces that we liked and kind of designed it the way that we wanted to. And then she, um, fired them, you know, and then put the findings and everything on there so that they were wearable. And I really love how mine turned out. So I wanted to show you guys, I've had them for a while, but I just haven't had an opportunity to come down here and, and really video, you know, do a video on them. And then I also have an Etsy purchase that I want to share with you guys as well tonight as in addition to a layout if I have time to get it all in one video. So I just wanted to show you these really quickly. Um, like I said, it was a glass fusion class. This one, I'm going to take it off the, the black because you can't really see. It's a see-through red. Like it's transparent, but it's dark. So you can't see through it great. And then I did yellow, a like yellow daisy looking flower on the top of it. And it's very textured. Like the red glass underneath has a lot of, um, I don't know what that's called. It kind of is like opalesque and, and it has a lot of different colors on the top of it. And then it has a lot of texture as well as you can see the divots in it. And then the flower just really sits up on top of it. Uh, but it's fused together because she um, fired this one at a lower temperature than she did the ones that turned out flat or um, like smooth, I guess you should say, I should say, because the other one started out like this, um, and she just heated it to the temperature to where it completely melted and fused together. So that's the first one, it's this really pretty red with this, um, yellow daisy flower on top of it, and I love it. And this one is, I think, just under an inch wide, I'm pretty sure, let's see if I can get this in here. It's just under an inch wide, and about an inch and three quarters long and I really love it. I've worn this one a couple times already but I haven't worn the other one yet. Um, so that one <clears throat> I really love too. I love the color combination of this like turquoisey blue with this really really bright red. Um, it's kind of coming off orange on the video but it is really a true true red. Uh, so let me show that up a little bit closer. And then it ended up with these little bubbles in it, which I thought was kind of just added a really neat look. Um, I, she said that's not, you know, it's not ever intended to have bubbles in it, but I like that it's at this, at right where those seams are. So the way that we made this is I chose a background color, which I think I picked like a dark, it was kind of like a black piece of glass to put on the, as my base. <clears throat> and then I put all these different, I picked out all these different pieces and shapes and I put them on that clear glass well, now the, the black glass, the way that I wanted them laid out, and then I put a clear glass over it, and then when she fired it, it pretty much just melts into one another, and then she smooths the edges. Generally, she says, round out pretty well, but if they have a funny shape to them, she will shape them a little bit when they're at the end of it, but she said these fired out exactly like this. And so I really love this one, too. I love that color combination together. And again, my camera, from for some reason, isn't really showing the redness of it. It's really a true red. It looks more orange on here, but so does my hand for some reason. Oh, and I'm pretty white right now since it's the middle of winter. But that's um, that one that I made, and again, it was a glass fusion class. Or not class, but glass fusion party, I guess, one of my friends had a few weeks ago. And then I got some things at an Etsy store, which I want to show you guys too, because I just love this stuff. Um, this is the first set I bought too two um, necklaces and two pairs of earrings. So these are the first two because they kind of um, they kind of go together to me. Like these are this is the Art Deco Opal Blue Sabrina Glass Brass Teardrop Earrings and they were only $15 and I love them. Um, I don't think they're like real legit opals but um, Opal's my birthstone, and so I really, really like the look of these. I don't wear a ton of jewelry, to be honest. Um, I pretty much live in, like, jeans and t-shirts and sweatshirts because I have a 
pajama job. I mean, I work from my husband's office, so it's not like I have to get fancy for work or anything, but I just, um, I just really like these pieces. I found this, um, Etsy shop from a blog that I ran across. It's probably one of the bigger blogs out there. I can't remember the name of it, actually, um, but that's not where I bought the stuff from, so. But it was one of the bigger, popular, like, women's blogs, like, bloggers or something like that. I don't know what it was. But this was one of her featured, um, websites that was, that she recommends, that she really likes. So I went and took a look, and they have really, really unique pieces. This one is called Art Nouveau Necklace in Green and Brass with Opalite Beads, and it was $26. And I thought that was a really good price point for this. I mean, that's a big... That's a big necklace. Like, that's a big pennant. Let me show you on the... So I don't know if you can see on there, but it's about... I mean, it's over two inches wide around. And I... I mean, it's huge. Um, like, this is a, a My Mind's Eye washi tape, and it's bigger than that by quite a bit. And then it has this really pretty beading all the way up the chain. And then there's beads at the... Like all, oops, take off of it too. Whoa. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> and it looks like this up close. I just love it. I love the detail of her. I love that it's painted green with the blue flowers or like, I don't know, they're almost a bluish purple flowers. I just think she's so pretty. And there's the little opal beads. And then there's the, the chain has these beads going up it as well. And then the very end of the chain where it hangs down the back has a bead as well. So I just really love the detail of that. Um, for $26, I thought, you know, that was an awesome deal to me. And those opal, ear or like, what are they? Art Deco Opal Blue Sabrina Glass Beads Teardrop Earrings are so gorgeous. And they're, I just really love them. And these are really lightweight, which I like because um, I rarely wear earrings. So when I do, I don't want to notice them. And the other ones that I got are pretty pretty noticeable when they're on. I'm going to show you guys those too. And then on the back, the other side here, where I'm showing these next ones, it does show the Etsy store shop website. Um, because I really, they had some very, very unique and interesting pieces, like I said. So I would, I would recommend the shipping was fast and it was in it, you know, not high for shipping. And these two here... This is what these look like. This is the Bali style drop earrings that were twelve dollars. Let me tilt this a little bit. Let me figure out what's the best lighting here. And these ones are really pretty too. Now these ones are quite a bit heavier. Um, I wore these out on one night with my husband, and these I noticed. Um, I'll still wear them because I really, really like the look of them, but they are quite a bit heavier than the other ones. And these ones were only $12. And I think they're really, really cute. I'll show you one up close. Like, it's just kind of, I don't know, it doesn't really say what the material is, but it's heavy, and it's really, really ornate looking. Like, very detailed. It's super pretty. And I love it. So that's those, and then this this necklace right here, the, it's called the Pretty Poison Bottle Necklace, and it was $24, um, and it has a little dragonfly on it, which I thought was really cute, and then this cork comes out, and you can put, like, I'm thinking of putting some word. I mean, I have to put some words in there, I can't just have this sitting empty, it will have um, probably just some, like one of my mantras will go in there, or perhaps like my word of the year, you know, every year people pick like their word for the year. I've been contemplating that, and so I might do that, but I don't know for sure what my word is yet, so I'm not sure. And then I might put some glitter or some, I'm not sure what in there, but something's going in there. And I love this as well. I think it's super pretty. And then the cork, I could glue it on, or I could just, you know, trust that it'll stay on. It stays pretty tight. Um, on there <clears throat> with the little dragonfly and I just thought that was really interesting in the pretty poison bottle necklace when I read that I was just like what? <laughs> I just kind of fell in love with it so I had to have it 
Um, and then there is the Etsy website name. So if you, um, they have a ton of different, inter really, really interesting pieces on their site. So I would encourage you to go take a look. It's www.etsy.com backslash shop backslash Sandra, the letter N, and then Dan. Um, so I would encourage you guys.